you bring to the ministry of priests in the Archdiocese of Lingen, the Gupan, long experiences in the professional field. To say that you have long experiences being brought to the priesthood is actually the polite way of saying ang tanda mo nang nagpari. It has already been revealed by many priests that I'm already 45 years old. It's because I worked before entering the seminary. Before entering the seminary, I was, I still am, an electronics and communications engineer. I worked for nearly 14 years before entering the seminary. When I was becoming successful, again, I asked myself, uh, is this really my will of becoming successful or you want, uh, do you still want me to pursue or to heed the call that you have given me since I was a child? So I discerned and I tried to follow that call from God. You are not old. You're just more experienced than your batchmates. There is no late vocation. There is only a late realization that you are being called. From Basista to Virgen Milagrosa University to being an engineer, working in Binondo, working in Quezon City, and then looking for the meaning of life, you have many and varied experiences. And then later on to the Mary Help of Christians Theology Seminary, we gave you many more avenues, pathways of more experiences. Meeting theologians through their writings, meeting the poor in their communities, meeting children in their difficulties, meeting young people in their joy of serving the Lord. Your heart is full of experiences, pastoral experiences, academic experiences, spiritual experiences during the retreats. All of these you now bring to the altar of the Lord as a priest in a few minutes. Uh, it's not actually late uh, vocation, but it's late response. For us, everything is possible. The first vocation, especially Saints Peter and the Apostles, were all late vocations. They were fishers of men, they were working. When God calls, time or even age does not matter. It's a matter of answering that call to love. Today is the Feast of the Holy Innocents. What is more important? Experience? Both are important if you only remember one thing. Only 
may the mercy of God. Dahil lang sa awa ng Diyos. Sola per misericordiam Dei. Lapod sa ipanangasi na Diyos na ba? Innocence separated from God is ignorance. And it is an imperfection that God does not deserve from you. But experience separated from God is vanity for your intelligence. It can make you proud and arrogant and say you are better than the rest because you say experience is the best teacher. Tears without the mercy of God can only be depression. Sacrifice without the mercy of God can only be masochism. But joy without the mercy of God is hedonism. Glory to God without the mercy of God is a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Ministry without God, without the mercy of God, is just social work, philanthropic work. What makes your life different is sola per misericordiam Dei. Only by the grace of God, dahil lamang sa awa ng Diyos, that innocence becomes sanctifying, that experiences become sanctifying, that tears become sanctifying, that joy becomes sanctifying, that our mission becomes sanctifying, that our contemplation becomes sanctifying, our sacrifices become sanctifying because of the mercy of God, and our joys and our comforts become sanctifying also because of the mercy of God. There will come a time when the mercy of God will be eased out of your life. There will come a time when the constant hearing of those words, Ang galing mo, Father! Ang guapo mo, Father! Ang buti-buti mo, Father! Ang bait-bait mo, Father! Ang tapang-tapang mo, Father! Because of constantly hearing this, you will start to believe that it is not really mercy, that it is your willpower, that it is your achievement, that it is your eloquence, that it is your research, that it is your experiences that makes you a good priest. The temptation of the priesthood is not about women. The temptation of the priesthood is not about more money. The temptation of the priesthood is not about disobedience to the bishop. You know what is the first temptation? It is the first temptation that Adam and Eve also received. When the devil said to both of them, Awa ng Diyos, don't believe Him. Because if you eat this fruit, you're going to be wise. You're going to be more intelligent. You're going to know what is evil and what is good. He is telling you not to eat it because it is going to make you better. And God doesn't like you to be better. God wants you to submit to Him. When the awa ng Diyos has become less and less visible in your life, when the awa ng Diyos is already on the sidewalk and not on the main street, believe me, my dear brother, you need to return to it. You need to return to it. Because only by the grace of God can you live as a priest, can you move on as a priest, can you die as a priest. And when you die, people you leave behind will be able to exclaim about your life what a good and holy priest we saw in Father Jasper. In innocence or experience, in sacrifice or feast, in tears or in gladness, in Kyrie eleison or Gloria in excelsis Deo, it is awa ng Dios that will carry you through. Jasper, God calls you. Follow Him. Ask for His mercy. And He will help you to become the priest of mercy that you have been destined to be even before you were born.